Uh, he's happily married to Lakshmi Somsundar and they have two daughters, both settled abroad. His hobbies include rotary activities, listening to retro Bollywood music and organizing and anchoring musical events. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to say that he is a charter member of our club, Rotary Bangalore Northwest, uh, which has just recently completed 32 years. I warmly welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. We are also blessed and delighted to have all the Rotary members here, which is a charitable society for business and professional people. We thank you very much for creating such awareness and all. And uh, yes, we have a guest speaker, uh, Sok Sundar sir, TR sir, financial advisor. I think financial literacy is very important because it, it is nothing but the set of skills and uh, techniques that you need to know for the financial wisdom. So with this great introduction, we are always extremely pleasure to have you all over here, sir. And I request Sok Sundar sir to take over the session without any further delay. I request all the dignitaries to please take your seats off the dais. So, so we are pharmacy students, we all are good with the chemicals, chemical formula. I think now you are going to make us to be very good with the numbers, which every one of us are waiting, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Your own provision. So money will be a part of your life. You must know that 
basic things of money. I am not going to talk to you about you know, investing in stock market or what is Radhani and all. I am going to tell you about how to manage the money that you have in your bank or the salary that you get, how to protect it, how, to, how much of it you should keep to keep aside, all those matters, right? Let's dive into the subject straight away. Giri should come back here. This is not good. the first step. Girish is my colleague who's been the last 15 years in Super Associates. Okay, you are a new generation and you are unlike us. We were not in a generation, we just have, we are uh, around. But you have some basis in life. You have a what is called a foundation in your life thanks to your parents that made you what you are today. So typically what are your qualities? You can uh, enhance this in your sense. Can I say you are fairly well off socially and financially? I think it is true because if you ask our generation, we were not actually financially well off. And nor were we socially well off. We could not even meet our friends in privacy. Those were the days. So you are actually, your parents are given you freedom to do what you want and what not to do. And the second one is very important. You have less responsibility to the family actually. Your parents are taking care of almost everything in the family. You have been a free person. You are typically the new millennials. With the first salary, you can buy your iPhone, which I could not. I had to wait for five years to buy my scooter. Now, as per to uh, pursue further education, this is typical of the new generation. You are not going to stop at what you are studying today. You are going to look at higher, higher, higher studies. So, you, your needs are also going to be very high. Okay, at least this year. In this nursing profession, I can tell you, Seeking foreign destination for employment is going to be your theme, I'm sure, because your demand is global, right? You don't stick to, you don't have to be in Bangalore to make a living. The Qatar and the Renaissance are going to open for you. I'm sure you're going to pursue those things. You're career oriented and ambitious. You're going to study further, get experience, bigger posts. You could even join a pharma company and become an MD or start a firm of your own. This is something new. Marriage is our last priority for you, the new generation. Do you agree? Yes. You did not raise your hands, so I can keep it secret, no problem. But it's a fact. That's the last thing in your mind as of now. The last one is something very unique to you. You are actually a, a nuclear family. You are father, mother, at the most one brother and sister, family of four at the most. Unlike us, where my parents take care, took care of eight siblings. Uh, apart from his sister and his sister's children and all the widowed sister, everything. Currently, today, you are in a small family, nuclear family, which is both a boon and a bane, actually. You know the pressures of a joint family, but the nuclear family has its own plus points. You are all used to it. Why I am saying this is, your family would not have told you about the money matters in the family, because things are there fairly well. You don't have to really break your head on that, unlike us. So you are a blessed lot. Well, this is one now question of uh, philosophy. Now, how do we? Why do we save at all? Are you not supposed to blow up all your money in life and you know why keep yourself the money? But the fact of matter is, all the money that you get is not yours. You need to keep aside some money for some other day. To start with, most of us have some surplus income. You may not agree, but if you if you do a proper budgeting and see where where you are blowing up your money, you always have a surplus income actually. If you avoided that iPhone or that uh, iPad, that money is your money actually, but you will not do it. That's a different matter. Now you need to save some money to meet your future needs. Who does not want to own a palatial flat or a you know, nice bungalow in Bangalore? And you are going to build up a family in the days to come, you need to provide for them. Just like you did your beef pharma, your children might talk about doing beef pharma in uh, London or America. So you need to provide for their requirements. To meet personal aspirations, I think this comes on priority, I think. People are waiting to get their pulsar bike or the, you know, the vacation to Malaysia, what not. That requires money. 
provide for parents and siblings. This is a very noble uh, thought. I'm sure you're all into it because the least we can do is to make our parents comfortable, at least if not in terms of health, at least the wealth wise. Of course, save on income tax, something you need to India, you all would like to save some money on income tax. You don't want to give the all money to Modi, right? Somebody has to be saved. The last thing is something that goes tear at you in the days to come. Retirement is a fact of life. Retirement does not make you make your life less cheap. It is going to make your life costlier. So you need to provide for it because you don't have your chick up or you don't have your daughter take care of you when you're old. At least we have. You have to fend for yourself. Your kids are going to be somewhere in the world, not near you. So unless you have money in the bank, old life is going to be a curse. So we have to provide for that. That's precisely why you should save some money. So to save some money, you need to have some goals in that, right? I told you what goals can be. In terms of saving money, it's not random saving. You just can't say, I'll keep the money here, I'll do that and all. You need to have a perspective of why you are saving money. You need to know three things before you start saving money. You must actually know how much you can save. Anybody can add anything today. You want serious can tell me. And randomly, can you tell me out of 100 rupees how much can I save? You need to have an idea about how much you need to survive. Only a body kept after surviving is what you can save. So, income minus expenditure is actually what is saving. That's what we have we all practiced. But let me tell you, this is not going to give the days to come. It is going to be income minus savings is equal to expenditure. Please mark your words. You can't spend more than what you have, and you can't spend all the money without saving money. That is very important. So you must know how to, how much, how much you can save. So a budgeting is required. You must need to have a family budget. You know how much of groceries you buy, you know how much of transport cost it costs you, how much your you know, Tata Sky is on the internet of the world costs you. Make a small list. Be liberal. If you have 100 rupees, put 120 rupees, you put it. But make a point that somehow arrive at a situation that around 25% of your income should be saveable. It is possible. It is still difficult to begin with. But you get used to it. And the last question will be how to save invest based on risk profile, time frame, and knowledge. Now, simply say keeping money in cash in the house or an SP account is not really a sensible idea. Your money needs to grow. You really have to work hard for money and later on make the money work hard for you. So you need to make some investments, not just uh, keep the money aside. We'll come to that on a serious matter, but this is a fact. You need to know what to do with your money. I have convinced you that you have income. I have convinced you that you have save some money. After saving money, what do you do with that money? That's the next question. Next question. So as I told you, make a family budget, know your surplus income, that can be saved. It is a challenging job, I can tell you that, but uh, you should try that. Everyone, including, I, I also revise my budget every quarterly, because I end up spending more. That's a different matter. This is a good practice. Always keep at least two months budget money in SP account as an emergency fund. Why are you earning for? What are you earning for? You don't have to ask somebody for a money when you have an emergency. And when can you do that? Typically what you do is emergency, you go to strike, swipe your credit card. Right? Please don't do that. Keep some money in the bank always. Doesn't matter if there is not earning you any interest. The power of a bank balance is something unimaginable. A 5 lakh money in the SP account give you a lot of Sleep in the night. Mark my words. And always keep under two months of budget account in a bank deposit for unexpected expenditure. Something could happen. Somebody needs some money, some uncle needs some help, or you have to go on a certain vacation somewhere. Something is required. So keep that money also available because let me tell you, asking somebody for money is embarrassing for, for both the asker and the giver. Let us be very clear. Somebody asks you money, can you just give some money? You'll have to think 100 things. And can you ever ask somebody for money? It is so embarrassing. That is why credit cards are so popular in India. You don't ask me, anybody can swipe their card, right? Okay, this is the fourth one, maybe it is early for you to look at it. But the fact of the matter is that our life has a monetary value. In your absence, there is somebody who is at loss financially in your absence. You have to make sure that that person does not feel the absence of money. Emotions can't be replaced. A person's death is death. He is gone. But he is leaving behind the support for his family. That is very important. Therefore, please buy life insurance. 
You buy a new bike, you will not take it out without insuring it. But your own life won't be insured. It's so funny in this world actually. We don't care for it, but make sure you have life insurance. Why? Now you may say, sir, if I die, what happens? Nobody is depending on me. But believe it, somewhere your parents are depending on you. They have spent their money in educating you. If they may need some support and you are not there, they are depending on you. In that case, therefore start with some insurance. Life insurance is a must, it's a first item in your my financial planning portfolio. The other one is, I have to, this preferably by term insurance, this is a, a, a serious topic, but term insurance is like your vehicle insurance. Insurance daily aapne, kuch nahi hua, paisa gaya. Kuch hua to gora paisa aapne. You know vehicle insurance, that's how it works. Every year you renew it, when there's a claim, they pay you, there's no claim, they don't bother about it. Term insurance is like that. If you survive the whole term, you get nothing. But the gas there is, it's a very cheap insurance. Probably at your age, for a one crore cover, it will cost you 300 rupees per month. So it is as simple as that. 300 rupees, what you pay to a whole lot left in Malaysia, right? So buy that term insurance. First thing when you go out of here and get your job is to buy at least a 50 lakhs term insurance. Will you do it? It's very important. Don't, don't ignore that because you don't have to wait for a particular age. Let me get married, let my children, then I get injured. Injured, not necessary. Be nice to yourself. You have a monetary value. Your absence is going to cost somebody their peace of mind. <coughs> the last one is interesting, the health insurance. You are at this life field of health. I'm sure that you are, wherever you are working, they'll cover you. But that is not the case. You can be between jobs. You could be, you know, looking at studying. At those times when you fall sick, who takes care of you? For small strain in the foot and you are into a hospital, the bill is a lack of rupees. Who will put that bill for you? Similarly, at home, somebody is not well, your parents are not well, or somebody is not well. It is going to depend your savings. What money you saved for uh, you know, months together in the bank, it will go in debt one jiffy. Therefore, buy health insurance for self and the family members. Despite the fact that your employer is giving you insurance. See, don't connect your insurance to anything that is not permanent, including your job. Your job is not permanent. You are going to keep changing jobs. And exactly between one job and next job only, you run accident, I tell you. That is, that is, that is life. So therefore, why <laughs> adequate health insurance? Today, ideally, somebody is around uh, you know, 50 years and has two children and their wife at home, must have a cover of at least one crore. See, it can be very, very dangerous. Somebody has, let us say, you know, chronic disease. A treatment for a cancer is runs into years. You have to put that bill year after year after year. Where will you go for that? There are people who sell their land and property to keep somebody alive. Here is a very simple system. They pay you the money in case it is properly administrable. So therefore, my health insurance, again I tell you, for a family of four, the cover of 25 lakhs, it might not cost you more than 12,000 rupees per annum. So it is worth spending a thousand rupees to protect your lakhs and crores that are going to be in the bank later on. Therefore, one thing is you buy health insurance and make sure that your parents also have insurance. Because if your parents are not there, they must have the right to go to a good hospital and get admitted. Right? You don't have to look at a person and say, oh, I can't afford that hospital, go to this hospital, the charitable hospital. No. Go to the best Apollo hospital, admit your parents if you have health insurance. So it is your duty to buy health insurance for yourself and your parents. And as days go, when you get married, when the child arrives, you have to cover every one of them with that health insurance. Because this is a good scheme actually, because if, if the doctors also attend to you more pressure because money is not an issue there. You will be paying money. And health insurance, your accident can help you. Suppose you get hospitalized for an accident, you can have the best treatment. You can have your eye, you know, eye operation or you know, uh, all those uh, smaller, smaller dentures, everything, through the medical aid. Some of them allow that. Therefore, Please promise me that you will all buy health insurance the moment you get out of this place on your first job. That is very important. Never ignore that. Yes, sir. If I ask you to make a list of things that you want to do in life you know, with money, I am sure you will give me at least 25 things what is running in your mind. Some of the most popular things youngsters of your age are looking at is you buying that. Uh, the Pulsar with the 550 cc here, that's one dream. Higher education is very expensive you now. You have to do a lot of homework to do that. First question is, can I repay the loan with the standard that they get after the higher education? If you spend a crore, 
doing it in a you know getting a course, you have to earn at least one lakh rupees per month for the next ten years. Repay that loan. So do some homework. Just don't jump into any course because it's attractive. Interest expectation. Today people don't go to Uti and all that. People talk about only you know Bangkok or the London of the world. So it, it requires big money. Obviously, you would like to buy a house, and you are going to borrow for buying a house. It's a sensible borrowing, but Bhagya is not going to give hundred percent cost of the house. You need to have margin money. If you are looking at a one crore house, fifteen lakhs you have to put up front. Then only get a loan itself. Manage expense of self and and or siblings. It's a very big responsibility. Marriage is no more cheaper. The one of the days when the you know the bride's father take care of everything. Today, the, even the groom has to spend on his wedding. The sangeet is done by the boy, not by the girl, right? And the bill is five lakhs. Please, please remember that. Boys are today the you know the expenses shared by the both the families. And if somebody says I am not sharing, please don't get married, especially the girls. In, insist on that, right? But that's an expenditure. So as youngsters, you must have some money in your bank instead of asking your father or mother to put the bill. You have some money lacking in your bank so that you can have a gala wedding there, right? You can come to the wedding in a jaguar car. Why not? Children when they arrive, they are going to be liability. We are not liability, but when your children are going to be, they come with the baggage. <laughs> it is very difficult. The kids see admission is two and a half lakhs today. Please note that. Right? Primary school, nursery school is costing so much, and just imagine when they go on studying, 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 how much cost you? And and uh, you know, God willing, your child is studying well. You can't say I can't support you. Right? You may end up sending your house to educate the child. So provide you may not provide hundred percent of the education, but at provide at least fifty percent of that, where she can borrow and he manage, he or she will manage the education. This is something you will very prepared. Financial support may risk the family is very important. Never let your parents feel that they are bad. I mean they are less important because they don't have the money. Never let them feel ever in life that they are short of money. Always give a. Support saying that boss, I am here. Don't worry. What is that you want? Therefore, provide for it. Money. You can buy. They invest money in some schemes where they get their money automatically in the bank. They don't even ask to have you ask you for the money. The money hit their bank directly. Whatever it is, could be even five thousand rupees per month or twenty thousand per month. But if you do that, it will tell you you'll be blessed. <coughs> As I told, retirement provision is something huge to give you know thumb rule figure. Thirty years down the line, you will require one crore to survive for now. At seven percent inflation, a masala dosa was ten years back twenty rupees. It is sixty seventy rupees today. Yeah. So you may not just give one masala dosa, but other things. My own medicine bill, I am a diabetic, so I take that. The last ten years, the price has gone by hundred and twenty percent. So can you afford not to all those? You know, throw away all these things. And today, you don't even have to be, pay a big uh, bill for your Netflix, your Amazon, your internet, your mobile bill. Who will put these bills for you? Right? You have to provide all these. You may not skip some meals to pay these bills. So you need have lot of money. No money is enough for retirement. And there's one more myth, you know. After my I die, my money must go to my children. So what do you do? I keep one crore in the bank and you want the interest. One crore will be five lakh rupees per annum. Is that enough for you? So change your mind. If you have one crore, borrow fifty lakhs for yourself. Let fifty lakhs go for the children. You don't owe them a life. Zindi ki de diya hai, ki padhai wale kar diya hai. That's the end of it. You don't have to give a lot of money for the children. That, that's a big myth. I'm sure we can share sharing that. They always want to be behind something with children. Right? They will manage here. Yeah? Did you not manage? Right? This is the last one is my addition because. I am a Rotarian. We have been doing all these things. You need to per se do some charity. The world has been kind to you. You are privileged. Your parents helped you study. How many children are not able to study? How many go to not able to buy their medicine? So if you can do some charity, keep some five percent, ten percent of your money into charity through proper routes. Want well, more ideas? Talk to my president. He will give you ideas. Right? Okay. Now we have talked about saving. Why saving? I also told you that saving, just saving, is not enough. You need to make that money grow, right? And how do you decide where to put the money to make it grow? 
Inflation is a fact of life. Can you deny it? You get simple Nandini milk fair as we can see actually. It used to be some 78 rupees long, buying some material body rupees like right? you know. And can you afford to give up your early morning coffee? So you, you need to buy that. Similarly, average inflation at all the country for the citizens is around 7%. If you look at the cost of petrol, the cost of milk, it's 7%. Oh, don't go by the cost of a Raymond's pan or a no, IFAN. That would be an 100% inflation. But 7% is fair. So, even you would want to buy a motor pet today which costs you 1 lakh rupees, if you want a quarter lakhs, 3 years down the line. So, if you have planned to buy a bike 3 years down the line, you need to provide 1.25 lakhs, not 1 lakh, right? So, next question is that, and first time trying to beat inflation. The other one is, when I invest the money somewhere, how much can I expect from that? If I give the money in cash, it gives me no babies. It lies idle. If I keep an SP account, I get 2% or 3% interest. If I keep it in a fixed deposit in a bank, I get 5 to 6% interest. Going forward, so many things I can do. I can buy real estate, I can put in mutual funds, I can buy stocks, so many things. Each one has its own plus or minuses, and each one gives you different rates of return. So, what's ideal development that you should require is something you have to arrive at yourself based on your risk profile, right? This is important. Have an investment plan for each goal. You have defined your various goals. Right? If something you require in the next three or five years, don't ever put the money into any risk because you don't have the end of five years what it's going to be. But if a term is long, say 10 years, 15 years time frame, you can take some risk in your investments. That is where things like your real estate or a mutual fund or stock come into picture. Go for safe investment for short term goals and assume some risk in your Investment for long term goals like children education, retirement, and all. Right? So, I mean, there is no meaning in putting your money in a bank deposit for retirement. For 25 30 years, you keep the money in bank deposit 5%. is criminal to put it very decently. Right? You have to take some risk with that money because your time frame is very long. We will come into those things later on because this is not right audience to talk about you know, other various forms of investment. I will just touch upon that. This should actually give you a shot. Right? Typically, a 25 year old, maybe some of you here, this is going to be a requirement center. Even if you want to buy a car three years down the line, next three years, if the current cost is the margin, not even the cost, is 2 lakhs, you got for 2 and a half lakhs, three years down the line. You look at uh, buying a house 10 years down the line, 10, 20, 33 May, you plan to put a 15 lakh rupees margin money. But if you are doing it after 10 years, you must have 33 lakhs in hand to get that same house. So, inflation is a killer. It, it, we will not realize it. If you put figures into those demands, it, it gives you a shocker actually. Yes, Dinesh. So, right now, when you decide where to put the money, these are some features of a good savings investment program. The investment must give return that beat at least inflation at 7%. Where can you get this the return at least seven percent? Even banks don't probably give you post tax seven percent, right? So that means it over. Return that investment must be tax efficient. You are other income tax, right? How many have reduced the budget of the Anybody? At least one hand to go. You would be shocked when you say that. Every time you spend one rupee, anybody, right from a Kuli to a Ambani, almost 60 paise goes to government as tax in, in GST, whatever, including from the right from the salt that you buy to the hotel that you go, you are paying GST. So indirect tax is already very high. Apart from this, on your income, the government has the income tax, right? It ranges from the range of 10% to 30%. <coughs> At uh, income about 30, 1 lakh, 1 crore above, for every 1 rupee or 30 paise is not tax. It is the government's. So, so when you are making investments, on the earnings you are paying income tax. There is something called the TDS in the bank. Those things are coming to be later on, but tax is a factor of life. And moreover, the investment will help you create some wealth. I have told you the inflation is 7%. So even if the money goes at 
You are not creating wealth, you are just meeting the expenditure of the future, that's all. Unless I get something more than 7% after tax, I am not creating any wealth for myself. I am just surviving, managing my life. But that's the case with everybody in this world, they are not trying to beat me. If you really want to beat that, you have to take the risks in life. <coughs> Keep these four things in mind. Any investment must have inbuilt safety in it. You must not end up losing your capital and our interest. How many people have heard of this Bitcoin? Oh, nobody has lost any money on that, right? How many of you play the Dream 11 game? Nobody? I am so happy. Because I find the auto rickshaw drivers also playing the game. Dream 11 and losing money on daily basis. Right? So don't look for easy means. There is no way you can make money. A thin air you can't make any money from there. So have to have safety. That is when India people rush to post office, the nationalized banks and LAC. They want a sense of the money. Money must be safe. Come what may. It must yield reasonably good risk adjusted inflation beating returns. I am using some big words there. Risk adjusted inflation beating returns. It's a challenge. I can tell you that. You may not achieve it, but A must be to achieve it actually. It's not impossible, but you need some efforts for it. It must provide liquidity. You must be able to get the money when you want it. If this is not going to happen, then it will be Allah Allah. Right? What is all these Adani things in the uh, market, market all about? People have lost their money notionally in their values. So today, I, if I bought that share and I want the money today, I get only half the, half the price. I bought it 3,000 rupees, I get 1,500 rupees. So that is the risk. So my money must be available to me at any time as I give it. For example, if you are going to buy a you know, bike 5 years down the line, what is the idea in buying LSA for 20 years? You are not going to get the money in the 5 years, right? You are going to buy 20 years down the line. So if it is a bike for three years, keep the money simply in bank, that's it, because you need the money. It must comply with the laws of the land. It must be legal, ethical and moral. That is very important. We all fall prey for you know, quick uh, money schemes. There's enough people in, on the net can give you ideas about how to double your money, triple your money, what not. Can you ever do it? Today even gold is not safe. Gold price is fluctuating. What your grandma thought is a great investment, is not one today. Gold is today quoting at 57,000 rupees for 10 grams. It used to be some 4,000 rupees 10 years before, I think. Money has become like that. Today, if you buy gold 57, so if it is 57, you go to 90 next 10 years, you are not sure. It could be 40,000 rupees. So that also has become this. Therefore, this last line is very important. Go for legal things. Wherever there is a possibility of government guarantee, look at it. It must be ethical and moral. There are people who still think the stock market is not ethical. <laughs> Though I love that profession, I am into it. There are a lot of people who don't believe the stock market is gambling. And even within the stock market, people don't buy shares that sell cigarettes, shares that sell liquor. So that is the level of ethics and morals you are talking about uh, in investment. So these are facts of life, but let us stick to it wherever possible. If, if government is running any scheme, let us presume it is ethical and moral. It will not be moral. Right? Chit funds, is it moral or immoral? I don't know. What do you say? Immoral. Huh? How many of you say that? Anybody? Immoral. Chit funds? Immoral. Ah. No, you don't be afraid of Chopra and she will not fire you. I'll say what though. You are new express. I need to know whether you are understanding what I am saying. You are too young for it, I understand that, but you need to keep this at the back of your mind. Right? Yes, there is. Are you aware of all these things I have shown you here? <coughs> Any one thing that is Greek and Latin for you here? Somewhere in the dinner table, somewhere in the marriage, somewhere we would have talked about all these uh, items in your life. Do you need all these things in your portfolio? Is the important. Bank deposit, company deposit, LACs products, Government securities, RBA bonds, post office savings, provident fund, public provident fund, gold in various forms, real estate, mutual funds, stocks and shares, bitcoins, arts and paintings, foreign currency, holiday resorts, paper by Mahindra is all the resorts. This day you can go somewhere every year. Few things are unknown to you because 
reverse mortgage is something too early for you to talk about. <laughs> it's, you got to cover when you're 60 years old. Right? Arts and paintings. It's a big business today, actually. Somebody draws something nonsense and you pay like for, for it and buy it. Right? And you call it modern art. Okay? <laughs> you better call it. Now, I always save 20% of your take home income without exception. Save money, money will save you. Can you do this? 20% of your money can you save? Give me a random number. Raise your hands. How many, how many of you say you can? Don't say my dad could not, so I can, therefore I cannot. You can. If you can't also, I tell you, you must. You are living in dangerous times. I could serve an institution for 25 years and they never fired me. But I am telling you, they will, nobody is going to keep you for more than 5 years. You will neither like the employer, nor the employer will like you more than 5 years. So you will be between jobs. You need to have some money in the bank to survive that 6 months of, or 1 year of not having a job. Therefore, please save 20% of your money. In what form is a different question, but keep it aside. Only 80% of your money is income is yours. Please keep that in mind. In that 50%, until you start your family, 50% goes give to your parents to run the family. Spend 30% in whatever you want. 20% you save. And the day you start your family and get married, that 30% of own money is also gone. Right? It goes into the family. You get used to it. Another thing is, invest regularly and systematically. How many of us do that? Do you go to the post office every month and buy one NSA certificate? Go, go and jay, got a dupe. How to go again? Therefore, put in place system that can automatically invest your money. Go to the bank and tie, you know, sign up for a RD account. So that every month when it's RD account, some 5,000 rupees goes to RD account. Forget what it returns it gives, doesn't matter. But the money is not in your hand. In terms of mutual fund, there's got something called SIP. It is a beautiful scheme where money goes from your bank automatically to the scheme and every year they save, every month they save for you. So get into that because we are sometimes money matters very lazy actually. We don't, that's not a priority. If there's a good film on Netflix, that is priority, not my same program, right? <laughs> Review investments in terms of safety and returns. Is it necessary for the government scheme? Maybe you can be sure. Because the post office or a bank is not going to go bankrupt. What if they put the money in a chit fund, let's say? You must have just look at the members of the um, chit fund scheme, how they are repaying all those things. If you have the stocks and mutual funds, you must review how its performance is happening. Is it happening? The way I want it. So, I did not ignore that at all. At least, in the month of April, one week you give to your portfolio, at least. If you can't do it to yourself, hire some idiots like me. We'll help you do that. Mm -hmm. Keep the proper record of investments. I am sure even your parents are not at this. Forget you, you Nobody keeps a proper record of where I put the money. That's very sad. That is because when you write in the papers, you find it is so less. I am not going to close. What is this? So you don't dare write down these things. That's the problem with everybody. I am not telling, but it's a must. Because this money belongs to you and your next generation. When I grow, the money must come to my family without much difficulty. I must leave behind a note saying that I put the money here, 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 contact this person to get that money back again. I wish to only for you to worry about that, but please <coughs> ensure that your parents do this at home. Because they have stopped it out and saved some money here and there, various schemes. Nothing wrong with asking your boss, do you have a record of what you interested? Simple things like, you know, your uh, older days, 20 years back, when you bought a house, it might not be properly registered. There would, there would not be a joint name in the registration or there will be there will be no bill to say who, whom the uh, property must go to. There is no harm in talking to your parents and asking your boss, have we done this? I don't know how many of you can dare go and ask your parents, Dad, how much are you insured for? He'll kill you. I understand that. But I think you should ask. Nothing wrong with that. You must know how much he has protected himself with. Forget the money coming to you. At least for your mother's sake. Boss, let me know how much it is. Can you do that? You will be brave, I tell you. 
tax implication is something very important. It's a devil, and the devil's de details are there. Every budget, we have to deal with it. No use scribbling about it. You know the family discuss with them. Let them know they may have value. It's very funny actually, you know. Even today in many families, the wife does not know how much husband earns. Not that he is earning lakhs and you want to hide it. You don't dare ask. And there are wives today who gives the whole salary to the husband. Am I right? Viva would agree. <laughs> but there are families like that. Is it fair? Just we are going out and looking for eight hours, ten hours somewhere in the muddy or her. Should that be cut out by somebody else? Especially the females here, I'm asking you. It's very important that you have word over what you're earning. Spend if you are ready. For the family, you can do anything that you want. But thought of this after your message. That is very important. So families do add value. The moment you have bought something junk in the market and your father comes home, we'll advise him. Boss, as I you here, I am And your mother will always say, buy gold. Right? You may say 100 things about platinum and uh, you know, and everything, but she will say, buy nice gold jewelry, enjoy it. Next sense, gold is does, does grown. 57,000 I am getting for my wife's gold jewelry. She is not letting me sell. That's a different matter. Right? <laughs> The last one is very, very important. You need to have a nice buy a 500 rupees notebook. Record in the water you have done with your money. It's very important. You must know if you have put money in venture funds, the person to contact in case you have to claim it, so on so on. Your family must know. You must know your LAC agent's uh, address, Atapada Vanashi. Which branch of LAC your policy is being serviced. Which post office you have put money in NSC. Because post office is a funny scheme. You must go back to say, post office, where you are interested in the money. You can't claim the money in some other post office. At least today, LIC is different because they are taking the papers all over India. Bank deposit, you can't go to this branch and ask for money deposit in the other branch. So you must know. It is very important that somebody keeps a record of the investments at home. Property, property tax is been up to date. Somebody must record them. <coughs> Suddenly you may find the father not paid for 20 years the property tax. <laughs> you will end up paying some 2 lakh rupees tax, uh, you know, tax on that. That's important. This is, there are standard books available, there are standard format for your account. Right? And download one and start getting it up online. Right? Okay. So this I probably, hopefully not repeated. But take a good balance between several pieces of good investment. Safety, no doubts on that. Liquidity, I told you, you must get the money when you want, otherwise it's not a good investment. Returns, simplicity, and predictability. The point here is, remember, no single investment will give you all these features in one scheme. If there is safety, there is no returns. If there is guarantee, there is no returns. If there is uh, long-term returns, there is no liquidity. So you have to make a compromise with knowledge. So therefore, I said, have a plan for every goal in life. If you don't prepare the money for the next seven years, you can pay RBI bonds and keep it. It gives 7.25% returns. Seven years you don't worry about that part of it. Guaranteed returns give you give you poor returns and lack liquidity. Government will give you a guarantee, but they you, I won't give the money when you want it. I'll give you when I want to give you. High return products are basic, basic is risk of loss of capital. Anybody who gives you deposit returns, they give you only returns, not capital. Right? Fancy schemes are not a simple time. Everybody says on the net, earn 20% per annum. 20% one, one year you will get taxes. Then the capital and the returns are gone. Don't fall for it. There is no money that comes from thin air. If I borrow from you and tell you I will give you 12% returns, what I should do? I must take your money, earn some 18% returns on that, pay 3% tax on that, then keep 3% myself and give you 12%. I am such a good fellow to you. <coughs> I will not do it. So the first chance of deceiving you, I will do it. If I have given money for the last three years, for the profit capital, right? There is no charity in this world. Nobody is good to others in terms of money unless he is also making some money. And making money in any different is a challenge. Not all can do it. So don't go by those, you know, fly by and operators. You don't require that. This might be too much for this class. I let not break you. Major Friday chai, you know? Let's keep this. Okay. This is something I want to emphasize on. If you are not in the habit of looking at financial literacy, 
Please start from today. Let me get a you know, yes uh, audience here. How many of you got a bank account? Raise your hands. Not bad. Modi's jam is working. Right? How many of you got net banking? You got it, no? Okay, how many are translating on net banking? How many are doing online banking? If you are not doing it, please do it today, transfer the money to my account. That's fine. Get used to that very important. How many of you are having a credit card? Two hands only. I am going to believe this. I am sure many of you have got credit card, you are hiding it. Right? If at all there is an enemy in your life, it is a credit card. Definitely. So credit card is per se not a bad item. The day you use it is very The day you carry forward a ocean liability, definitely you are ruined. Any idea how much interest you pay on credit card analyst? You pay 40% interest on credit card. You use the card for 10,000 rupees and don't pay it on day. From the next month, it is 3.4% charges on the value of 9,000 rupees. Are you, are you aware of it? Because typically what happens is I go to buy iPhone, I have 40,000 in my bank, I need some more money, so I have credit card also. The balance I swipe the card. Right? And again, I pay in the next four installments. But instead of that is going to be the balance, they pay 40,000 rupees to the credit card company. Should you do that? Therefore, unless necessary, don't use a credit card. Credit card will be like this. I have money in the bank. But I would like to swipe my card so that I can pay it on time. Now, why do you do that? Your credit card has a statement period. First to 30th is the uh, card period, and next 15 days is your due, due date. So if I buy anything that I want to buy on the first day of the month and the credit card starts, I get 45 days time to pay that money. So that my money lies in the bank for 45 days, and it pay, provided the money is in the bank. So the moment it becomes due, you pay it up, that is it. And the, for the 45 days of borrowing, it gives you some goodies. It'll give you some credits like 5,000 rupees, I mean 500 rupees worth of something, you can buy it. For example, I spend maybe average 12 lakh rupees per annum I use my credit card. I get them like 50, 40,000 uh, points in the credit card every year. I often bought my flight ticket for those money. So if you have sense and discipline, use credit card, always kill your card. Okay, you are not used to Paytm, no? UPI payments. What if you lose your mobile order events? Any idea? Of course, there's a password before you pay, it doesn't matter. But if somebody can hack your live phone, a lost phone can be hacked more easily, right? So one thing is, if you're using a UPI payment frequently, in that bank account, don't keep too much of balance. That's important. 25,000 rupees maximum, keep it there for UPI payments. Because even if you use the money, it is 25k. Of course, mainly you should, you know, talk to police, you go to the bank meeting and stop the payment, everything. Despite all that, that is very fast. So what we do? We mute our notification SMS. Somebody steals your card. He's happily swiping the card, ATM, and the bank has a nice facility SMS throughout night. You have swiped this card, yeah, swipe the card, then we don't care. Only in the morning we look at it. Oh, where are paisa somewhere? <laughs> Isn't it? It's a common mistake here coming because you don't want to be disturbed in the night. So by the time you get it in the morning, you have swiped all the money. Isn't it? So these are risk stuffs. Online payments, credit cards, all of these, youngsters must be aware of this. You don't have to have money running in your pocket every day. Don't request someone's money in life, first of all. Right? So UPI payments, keep track of this, very important. Government is planning 55 crores through you know the tolls. Automatically without you even paying one price. That is going to be a feature in the days to come. So your money is not yours anymore. Somebody is looking at it, either a hacker or a government. Okay, be careful with your money. You heard uh, words like NEFT transfer, IMPS transfer. Your parents sent you money, right? They sent you through NEFT only, isn't it? So you are aware of that. Hmm? What is IMPS then? NEFT and IMPS. IMPS is something immediately, you, the transfer happens immediately for the charge you money. So you want to send your dad money immediately before 11 o'clock? Do IMPS. If it is not also, then do NFT. That's it. 
on your bank account, try to open your RD account online. And close it up online. Get a feel how what, what are questions they ask you. Like if they do OTP from somewhere. So the problem is if the proper uh, uh, mobile number is not mapped to the bank, <coughs> somebody will get the OTP. You will not get it. That is important, isn't it? So many of us have it after, you know, mapping your bank account to your mother's account. Or mother's phone number into your account. So these are other things you should learn. And you also know that we have debit card, credit card. You can set your limits on it. So online, you can set that anything more than 20,000 rupees should not be allowed. Especially internet transactions when you are driving abroad. Log into your banking sector and set your limitations. More than 20,000 rupees per day, I will not do. Hello, payment online. So even if you have lost the card, the maximum you can you know, swindle is 20,000 rupees. And the moment you come back, please reset me. That's all that's important. Okay, this third one, I don't know how many of you are interested right now. They are so young for it. But it's not a taboo subject anymore. Stock market is a part of your life. You can't wish it. Even in news channels, they give you tickers. The price of uh, Anna, Ryan share is no more known than the price of gold price. So you can't wish it away, but start learning about it. And especially with today's net availability, nothing is difficult to learn. Spend some, don't look at it as some, somebody's gambling in the stock market. Not everybody is gambling. At least not, I'm, I'm not gambling. Right? So understand what is stock market, why, how it functions. There is a site called National Stock Exchange. There is an academic section in the uh, National Stock Exchange, which gives you 27 certification courses. Everything about stock market, there are courses to be done. Do that course, then the study Right? This is something you should be doing. Make a small river investment to talk to mutual funds and thoroughly understand how they function. That's the important. What is the least uh, number of shares that you can find in the stock market today? Hmm? Give the answer, you must know. You'll be knowing. Hey, not people, I am not that strong on the years, yeah. So both of Answers? It is just one share we can buy in the market. So you want to buy one share of Infosys, all that requires is something like some thousand six hundred rupees. Right? And you want to buy a share of let us say yes bank, it is fifteen rupees. Okay, you don't don't buy yes bank, and I'm not recommending. What I'm saying is that it is not something big man's game to the stock market, it's a very ordinary man's game also. Get a feel of it. That is whether you do it later or not, it's a different matter. And there are easy ways of doing it. Of course, stock market will be jumped. Some gather somewhere for a piece of two percent, does all the donkey work for you and buys you all the best shares and holds them for you. That is mutual for you. This may again be related to early for you talk about. But this can be done when you go back to your native personality. Make sure that your neighbor, your driver, your mates are going to have all those. Benefits of the government that they are giving. A hundred things. If you open a bank account, you have 2 lakhs insurance code for paying 300 rupees for that. Poor pay family, somebody dies, they get a 2 lakh rupees. And they get additional 1 lakh rupees, so somebody dies in an accident. All it costs is 10 rupees per day, 300 rupees per, per annum is what you pay. And get debited from the bank automatically. But many people don't offer because of lack of awareness. So if you can tell your boss, you may get there, let them do it. That's it. How many have got bank numbers? Bank card? Up to top. Up to top. Up to top. Up to top. That's what both of you tell me. Get your bank, bank card. That's the only idea you have got respect to your answer. Even the other gives you terrible photographs. It doesn't tell you what you want. Okay. So, go for a nice bank card with a latest photograph and you need to, there's a, uh, you know, code in that also. You can definitely get anything on that. Get your card, that is very important. How many of you buy Deccan or other times of India? I am sure you are all buying. Why don't you buy one Deccan times also? It is 2 rupees per day. Saturday is costly a day. It is 2 rupees per day. Even if you don't read it, it doesn't matter. You read once in a week. But subscribe for it. Right? It costs you how many? 60, 70 rupees per month is what it will cost you. 
ऑनलाइन पोर्टल लाइक moneycontrol.com yahoo finance टॉपिक के पॉइंट्स में भाई लोग इतना पिक्चर देखोगे Amazon is now passive Netflix is passive ना वहाँ पे बड़ी कलर डॉक्टर मन से ऑप्ट इंटरप्रेट कर चुके हैं, वही ना? तो आई कैन सेमिनार से वर्कशॉप से डिप्रेस लाइक व्हाट यू डू यू स्टार्ट वेरी अर्ली पीपल लाइक मी देयर टाइम एंड एसेंट देयर पीपल कनेक्ट क्लासेस ऑन दी ऑनलाइन फिजिकल क्लासेस फिजिकल क्लास प्रॉब्लम हैव इट मोर इंपैक्ट ऑन यू देन एन ऑ Remember, financial literacy is life supporting. It helps you overcome financial difficulties. It helps you grow rich and wealthy. Who would not want that? Actually, if you can manage your money well, it's half the battle you have achieved in life, right? Whatever be a stream of knowledge, science, commerce, or arts, financial literacy is a must. It's a very common thing to say. Boss, I don't know much about money. How can you not know about money? You are giving on money, right? You are you are not like without the money. And how can you say I don't know about money? Be different, be different. It's typical of you know. There's a myth in the world saying that females don't understand money. Do you agree? Yeah. Anybody agree here? Yeah. It's a myth, but we are comfortable because man feels very safe about it. Okay, my wife my wife doesn't know money, so I I am comfortable. Don't let that happen. First step, that is important. And uh, we are getting into a world where marriage is not all that sanct. No, sanctity is reducing. It is possible that you don't live together. There is nothing you know bad about it. In that cases, when you have single mothers or a you know, widow or a divorce, <coughs> money matters become very important. The court may say give alimony of one lakh per month. Who help like that? Kaise samalenge ya? That is equally important, no? So when you say I don't know about money, it is blasphemy. You must know something about money management. When you get your money in hand, how to manage it? There will be hundred advices coming to you, advice about how to handle your money. But you must take your own decisions. And so never say I don't know about money. For example, in your profession, when somebody is widowed and they inherit some a crore, two crore, first thing I tell them is for six months don't do anything. Get your emotions back in life. Then decide about where to put your money, how to make the money grow, all those things because. Those six months are where the father-in-law interferes, the brother-in-law interferes, the friend-in-law interferes. Do this, do that, do this. It might not be the best way to do it actually. So take your break on that. <coughs> yes, please. Again, one more set of uh, you know Greek and Latin for you. Any word in this you don't know, you or you know all the words. Okay, one doubt. Okay. What is nomination? Any idea? Any idea about what is margin money? What is the EMI? What is the foreclosure charge? Credit cards we do, but there's nothing more than pay and pay and no. Buy no pay later, right? Amazon में दरोज आता है. You know, ten rupees is a pain to find some money here. SAP to mutual funds, NAV, CAG are transfer component and all those rates. Very big goal. I told you about term insurance. Uh, I told you about medical. Now, what is cash plus medical? Any idea? Yes, It's very simple. You don't have to pay any money. You need to the hospital. You give your card. Show the card. Walk and get treated. Otherwise, what you should do? You should pay the money up front, get treated, and give the bill to the company. Yes. Get treated. How it is so simple. The moment you show your card, the hospital is very happy. They give the best treatment or the worst treatment. <laughs> Things like year forty is not too much for this class. But a demand account is an electronic account for holding your uh, stocks and shares. So physical uh, papers at home. You can open a demand account for everything into that, including your insurance policy. Get it put into a demand account. Shares are to be compulsory held in demand only. So that you can open that with the Chile Bank. Nifty Sensex, I hope you know. You better know. Others are being let down by the other ones. That's my bread and butter, right? Only one more I'll add. Uh, <coughs> this is what is called nomination. Now, what is 
this nomination. And where do you refer it? Everybody saves money for some purpose, invests here and there. But God forbid something happens, who should get that money? Unless you make clear that the person who should get the money is very clear in the records, it becomes a big challenge. So two things, when I invest, I must nominate somebody, very important. And when I decide that nominee is not worth it, I must change it also. It's very important. This happens in youngsters. Youngsters, when, before they get married, they nominate their mother as the insurance policies or any investments. And the day they get married, they better change it to a wife's name. Otherwise, there is no reason. Right? And I'm showing to them. That, that is important, no? There are cases where the man dies and the mother and the daughter in law fight over the money. And what will happen? The fight goes, you go to the court, the court won't decide for one year, and they will say, one year I won't give you the money. You get me order from the court, I'll give you the money. Why get into all this mess? I have a proper nomination and maybe every investment is not the right person. If you don't like your uh, husband or your spouse, change the nomination. Like your brother, no, it doesn't matter. It happens. There are cases. For example, in divorce cases, happens, you know. They forget to do some change in nomination. <coughs> the claim comes, it gets stuck totally. That's important. And moreover, I have made a proper nomination. But before me, the nominee dies. Kya I have to nominate somebody else then. I often forget to do that. Again, it becomes an orphan. Uh, so, that is more important. Anything in this which should attract your interest, I can tell you. It's not too high for the money. Time for a cup of coffee. Is buy now, pay later is good or bad? Buy now, pay later. Is it good or not? Is borrowing good or bad? Borrowing is not good. Then it's not either. As simple as that, right? That is basically to sell you things that you don't require. That's how it comes. When Mitra says this dress is good, then you buy now, pay later. Obviously, the dress is not good. That's it. Is good or bad? That's it. 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 So some quotes, you save money, money will save you, and next sentence is very important, lack of money the other person is confident. Lots of, lots of people in this world are even alcoholic because they don't have the money. They borrow and drink. Yeah, they are not confident about their credit security in life. You talk to any auto rickshaw driver, he is suffering from debt, or God knows why he borrowed, but he is not at peace with himself. Any Ola driver, he must be earning 1,000 rupees per month. But he has borrowed for two cars. So he's paying 40 cents on his EMI actually. So lack of high money will affect your self confidence, it will make you angry, guarantee BP and diabetes. Right? Again, ultimately I will say don't stress yourself. Nobody ever had a good amount of money. He's always in short or in excess. Mitigate this is some liquid saving investment. Nobody ever had a good Ask company also, you say I don't have money. Not only does not have money today, at least. Right? So, money is never adequate. It's a question of how you do that adequate. What is adequate is something you decide. Do you require a house for two crores with uh, two swimming pools? Where you never swim at all? You don't have swim, but you have a house with the two, you know, two crores property you have bought. Because fancy of that house. You have a gym with all the equipment. You never go to the gym. Right? So, that is that's the problem with money. You can always say, I don't have money. People have money. Adequate money is there. Never borrow frivolously. He is rich, owes nothing. Sala is the boy, not a better today. It's all empty. The Sala is the guy. It's so embarrassing. People are ruining themselves. Borrow for a good cause, doesn't matter. To buy a house, it makes sense. Today, even buy a car is nonsense. Why borrow it? That's the different concept. Car, mark, you get less money than what you paid for it. That's a fact. Golden days, I, I bought a Fiat for 20 years back and sold it a copy. Because cars are not other than But today it's not the case. So never borrow. And problem is that people are waiting to give money. I go to the survey the other day said that uh, the most calls in a day are 20% from the spouse, 20% from, uh, from the friends, and 60% from other finance. Often years ago. So you get a call every now and then, please take my money, please take my money. Why do you take the money? Do what, do what with that? Isn't it? Whenever the borrower comes, I mean the seller, lender comes to you and give you money, the sign of danger. 
normal circumstances, the borrower must go and ask for money. That is called borrowing. This is not borrowing, right? And each person's experience of money is different. It is very personal. But when you buy time, you won't talk to your parents or your friends also. How you dealt with your money is something you can write pages on. Have you lost your money? Have you paid your money? Have you did not keep your money? Everybody has a story about this. So if you listen to that, you correct yourself. That's all right. Right? There are parents who go overboard on education of children. There are people who invest some two, three crores on child education. I am not saying it is not required. But if the boy interested, have you asked him? He might want to go to Bollywood for all you. May I say you to America to study India, right? Unless you deal with an experienced money, you will never realize it. No amount of address in this. I can stand here and talk to you for hours together, blah, 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 blah. Unless you get your first one lakh in your time and manage that one lakh properly, you will never realize it. Ask anybody in this world, ask your parents also. Money management is not easy. Earning money is fairly easy. Because there is a problem with hard work. When you work hard, you end up succeeding. Isn't it? But when the success gets you money, Money that money sells. This is the case with politicians, this is the case with all the film stars. They make huge lot of money, and one fine day says, say, I want director's you know, and he goes down there. Straight away, all his money goes down. This happens a lot of people. So money might be the challenge. So there's a nice saying in India, it says that Bina Kud Mare Gisko Jandar. Right? Unless you die, you don't know what heaven is, right? I can't come and report to you all the heaven is. You have to go through it. So go through it, investment as an experience. Enjoy it. Don't, you neither have to curse it, nor be you know, too involved in that. Yes. So this is a very nice quote. You know? Money can't buy happiness, but somehow it is much more comfortable to grind an anchor with an Precisely, it says, five people never say, I don't want money. Nobody in this world think his senses and say, I don't want money. Right? It is very easy to get expenses everywhere you go there. there. So you can feed them anywhere. My wife is an onion. Hopefully, it makes me cry. I would have to feel like a poor man. Only with lots of money. That's a dream of everybody, right? You, you want to feel very humble in life, but let me have a few lakhs in the bag, then I'll be humble. And then I won't be humble. Those whom God not to destroy gives them more money than they deserve. Did you agree with me? A lot of people are suffering from excess money. Right? If you want to know what God thinks about money, just look at the type of people you think. In excess. Right? You see it, your own friends you see. The guy has got one crore, two crore in hand. That I am much better than this one. Don't you feel that? You will feel this all the hundred days of your life. These past members, this is a fact of life. What it is going to do? The result will always. Never become this. I know a million is. He has a million. He has a million money. Ultimate advice is this, you know. To take care of your money is to hold it and you have to keep it. There is no other way you can take care of your money without advice. So if somebody says to take care of your money, one year, two year account, please, Dash him on, not only avoid borrowing. Right? Avoid borrowing for fewer reasons. Live within your means. Never spend your money before you earn it. Can you do it? This applies to themselves here. Very tempting life going forward. Lot of things you need to buy in life, right? 30 days, 30 different dresses you require. Right? What do you require? Can you repeat a dress 15 days time? <laughs> That's, that's a problem. So that is the same reason my money is not enough, let me go. It starts from there, it goes on and on and on. The current you know, jewelry is very nice. Let me get into that. So avoid that. You know your income, stretch your legs, matching that. Ultimately, this is about an investment in knowledge, space, and investment. Never say no to knowledge. Everything, keep your mind and ears open for knowledge. There are people, even in CNBC, you sit in, uh, you know, 10 o'clock in the night, there's a problem, uh, problem called money matters. Somebody comes and talks, something says there. Problem with advice is that after going to the hell, 
very advanced. <laughs> if I am talking any sense today, it is because I have gone through the laws of hell, so I am talking to you. It is not necessary to people to talk about money or great money. It is not necessary. People get more money also can talk about money, right? It is not that. So thank you, friends. This was a good opportunity. <laughs>
don't say if budget uh, is not a subject. Average is not the only subject of the telecast. <coughs> budget is something for you. Understand why the Nirmala Sitharaman Sri Nanda was talking about in the parliament. No? Think about that. That old lady at 70 sitting one month and preparing a budget and you don't care for it. Is it fair? Isn't it? So nothing is taboo. So if you ask me to study about your uh, you know, pathology or uh, heart attack, I am not interested because I am afraid. Right? But about money matters, you need not be afraid. Either you have it or you don't have it, as simple as that. Right? If you don't have it, try to make, make some money. If you have it, manage the money. That's it. So if there is no doubts, either I have not told you the right things or you are too smart to understand what I am saying. Isn't it? Right? Anyway, I am not afraid. It's a nice audience. Thank you for the management for the song. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You have stressed more on health insurance. Yes, I think we all get scared to think about like, you know, yes, our health gets deteriorated, what happens. But I think with your great advice, even I didn't take health insurance, probably I'll start it from today. <laughs> okay. And coming to the nomination also, you have focused to this point because uh, uh, in an article I have read that there are thousands of crores of money without nomination, it has been wasted. It's been there in the bank itself. That's really nice to enlighten us with all these points, sir. Yes, on a lighter note, you have shown us a quote, like if you want to double your money, keep it in your back pocket. But I think all these naughty students, they were telling not in the back pocket, front pocket. Because back pocket means that somebody can take it off, yes. So, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. That was so wonderful and a very, very interesting session, very informative session. Not just for the students, also we as a faculty member sitting here, we also don't know a lot of information about all this financial literacy. I think financial literacy for the millennials, which means for thousand years, I think it may it, it may help all our students, also a lot of people for thousands, thousands and lakhs of years. Right? Thanks for such a wonderful session. So I request our director, Dr. Shobhan Raman, along with the president of Rotary Club, Rotarian Pratap Ujjini sir, to come and felicitate our speaker of today, uh, Rotarian Som Sundar sir. I request Shobhan Raman, as well as Pratap Ujjini sir, to come onto the stage. I also request our speaker to please come onto the stage sir. We have a felicitation, a token of appreciation and the gratitude to Madhya Bani Minister of Pharmacy Education and Research. Volunteers, I request the volunteers to please come forward. Denial of taking wrong financial decisions 
is also a sure shot way of losing more money. As soon as you realize you have made a wrong decision, cut losses, be brutal about it. Stop the leakage of money. The most important, the quality of financial security is temperament towards money and not intellect. The third one, time is precious. Friends, now is the time to act. Once you achieve your financial goals, make money work and more, don't work for money. This is Time is more valuable than money as you can get more money but time is limited. Money is man-made, time is God-made. Whatever God has made is in limited uh, quantity. Time is irreversible. So we have to not Time is irreversible, so we must not allow the pursuit of money to blind us. Life is much more than pursuit of the 10 paisa of life. Short and long term, the fourth one. Just like how slow food, food is more tasty, long term investment is the easiest way to create wealth. Short term investment is easy come, easy go. Yeah? When you make long term investment, you inevitably move <coughs> out the web clashing is of bad markets and bad economies. Long term in investing is smart investing. Be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy <coughs> when others are fearful. This is the advice given by legendary investor Warren Buffett. In other words, invest low, sell high. Very basic of making money. You know, having said that, I don't tell you gold by money. Adani stocks. Adani is today going low. Don't buy them. <laughs> well, friends, after a long talk by sir, I think I should end my talk here. Every second I spent here was worth it. I hope you also feel the same. All the best for your future. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. That's the that's end of the program. Yes, we wanted to thank a lot of people who are here also. So today I'm going to propose a vote of thanks. We especially thank our speaker who has come and enlightened all our students, also the faculty members of financial literacy. So we thank you very, very much. We also thank Rotarian President Pratap Ochevi sir coming over here and saying all those beautiful quotations. Thank you very much. We also thank Rotarian Vipha Chakrala, also Rotarian Madhura Ujjini, Girl and Women Empowerment Chair. Thank you very much for coming and gracing this occasion over here. We also thank Jayanti Ma'am for coming here. Also, we thank our management, Dr. Bhir Vishwanan sir for giving this opportunity. We also thank our director, Shobha Varani Ma'am. Also, we thank our principal, Dr. Suchitra Ma'am. Thank you very much for all of you. And lastly, I would like to thank all the students who have come here. I hope you are going to save your money or more money. And yes, definitely they are going to buy Lamborghini, sir. And they are going to cry in Lamborghini. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We also thank all the teaching, non teaching staff, all the students. Enjoy your day. Have a great day. Thank you very much.
the students, please come back to the front. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, cheese. Cheers. 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 Let's go. 